Welcome to a new video in which I'm going to show you how to create a galaxy background like this with the use of Copic and Copic Various Ink and some other optional tools. I already made a tutorial like this before. Uh, it's quite old now and I think it's just time to create a new one. So if you're interested to see the old video, you can find a link to the video in the description box down below. Before we start, I want to mention that this tutorial is going to be a lavish one, which means I will mainly use the Various Ink from Copic. So this is what uh, Various Ink looks like. And you can refill your empty Copics with these inks um, from 7 up to 15 times, which depends on what kind of markers you're using. So if you're using Copic Chow and you want to refill it, you can refill it about 15 times, for example. And it's a lot cheaper to buy refills and refilling your empty Copics than, than always buying new ones. And of course, you don't need to use the same amount of colors I used in this video. Um, you can use less and you can also use different colors, just as you like. And if this tutorial is too wasteful in your opinion, just don't worry, there will be also a 51 soon on my channel. So if you're interested, be subscribed to my channel so you won't miss any video and any tutorial I'm uploading. So, okay, let's start! I taped a piece of paper down on my table with a surface friendly tape which I get in a dollar store. And for this tutorial I used my sketchpad paper from Zeichencenter Ebeling, which is an art store in Berlin. And the paper is a thick sketch paper about 190 gram. And a thick paper will absorb the color a lot better than thin copy paper for example. It will also take more layers of color and you can blend the colors easier. But this is important before you start. Make sure to put something like a cardboard or a desk pad right under your paper to prevent your table from stains and getting dirty. First I start off with a black marker from Vincent Newton and I paint roughly around the edges and it really don't need to look clean or perfect, we just want to have a rough black background. So and if you're wondering, I don't own a black copy marker anymore. So I just used a black alcohol based marker, with which you will see no difference to a black marker from Copic. Make sure to leave some space in the middle. Now I'm using a green blue tone named duck blue and I roughly paint inside the black frame. I do the same with a pinkish tone named blush after that. Now I'm using the first various ink. It's also the color blush I used before. Just strip very carefully and slowly uh, the color on the paper. You can also use a brush to take the color of the various ink to spread the color easier. Make sure to work quickly because the ink will dry very fast. As you can see the colors already mixed up. The next various ink is Cyanine Blue. This time I'm dripping it between the black and turquoise frame to blend. Wait a bit until it's dry. The next color is a brighter blue tone named Frost Blue. 
if you're dripping it now on the dry dark surface it will give it a nice effect but it's not a really necessary color next is lipstick red i'm blending it with the darker parts but always make sure to not overdo it And this is the most important tool of the whole thing, the colorless blender. But you can also use nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol, which is a lot cheaper. And as you can see, the colorless blender gives the whole thing a cloudy look and it blends the colors well together. So don't worry if you're working pretty messy in this tutorial, messy is what it makes beautiful. You can achieve a different effect by using the colorless blender or nail polish remover like I do with a Q-tip. The Q-tip will spread the liquid slowly and takes a bit of the colors from the paper. If you rather want to drip a few drops of nail polish remover instead of using a Q-tip, I can recommend you to use a pipette or an injection needle. If it looks too faded, then add some more color. In this case, I used just blush, because it's a bright tone. And I also personally like to add a bit of green, because it's like a little detail that is popping up. But in general, you really don't need to use all these colors to create a nice galaxy effect or similar backgrounds with other color combinations. For this galaxy effect, it's already enough to use about four colors, black, blue, pink and red, and of course the colorless blender or rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover, just as you like. The biggest part is done now and we can start to add some stars and sparkle. But first make sure that everything is dried. I use my most favorite white ink from PH Martens because it really gives a good covering, especially on red colored layers. You can also use white acrylic paint and mix it well with water, so it will have a similar effect. I'm dripping a bit of the ink in an empty plastic thingy of a chocolate box, and to make a lot of small stars pretty fast, I'm using a bristle brush, because fine and soft haired brushes will not be able to spread the ink fine enough. And like always, make sure to not overdo it. Now I add some bigger individual looking stars with my G pen. You can also use a white gel pen instead if you like. Try to make small groups of different sizes, so it looks more realistic and they don't look like they are lost in space. Haha. <laughs> Ha 
and now it's done. Okay, but this one is just optional. To add a soft shimmering effect, I use the Glimmer Mist from Tetrad Angels and for example you can get it on Amazon. As you can see, if I'm shaking it up, the glitter moves beautifully in the bottle. And here's an important advice if you're using the spray. Never spray it directly on your drawing. Spray it in the air and catch the glitter with the paper. In this way you will prevent ugly big spots on your work and achieve a smooth glitter recovering. But be careful, don't touch the stars you add with the white ink or it will smear. Let it dry first. And as you can see, it gets a beautiful glittery shimmer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I would love to see your results with this technique. So if you like, you can tag me on Instagram, for example, with the hashtag HelloRambu to show me your creations. I guess that's all for now. It's the end of the video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and stay creative. Bye bye. So if you like, you can, ha you can hashtag me. <laughs> This one is also going to be a... If you are still interested to see the old way of that, just don't worry, there will be also a... I hope you enjoyed this little... Um, using this technique... Any tutorial and any video, video, video. <laughs> Why?